On December 17, 2025, a Dubai startup did something the biggest AR companies still haven't solved. Expansio publicly showcased the world's first fully functional smart contact lens that are designed to do things AR glasses still haven't solved. Move the interface off your face and onto your eye. Not as a concept video or a glossy render, they were real working prototypes built with micro displays, tear fluid biosensing, wireless antennas, onboard batteries, and a live data pipeline. Most importantly, they demonstrated integrated wireless power transfer, proving the lens could receive energy without physical connectors. Attendees physically saw them operate during live demonstrations at United XR Europe in Brussels, with even the power and sensor readings changing in real time. But what makes this so disruptive is the timing. Apple, Meta, Google, Samsung, and other giants have been spending staggering amounts of money trying to make AR glasses the next universal interface. These companies are betting that the future after smartphones will sit on your face in the form of smart glasses. But then this Dubai startup revealed a product that skips glasses entirely. Expansio, founded in 2021 by entrepreneur Roman Axelrod and physicist Valentin Volkov, has now showcased working smart contact lens prototypes that aim to beat AR glasses not by adding more screens, but by removing the distance between screen and perception. Their claim is sharper. Glasses are transitional. The next interface touches the eye directly. Roman Axelrod calls the lens a habitat for intelligence, a layer of compute embedded into the human visual and biological experience itself. Volkov supplied the materials science to make atom-thin flexible electronics and photonics plausible in a lens that can sit on the cornea. But when the distance between display and eye is zero, Almost all light reaches the retina without scattering into ambient waste. With glasses, the display sits centimeters away, so most light is lost through waveguide inefficiency, air scattering, or brightness competition with sunlight. With a cornea-mounted display, you don't need to blast brightness into every environment. The eye receives almost all the light by default. That means power draw collapses by orders of magnitude, heat drops dramatically, and brightness issues vanish even outdoors. This is the part that glasses companies are still fighting physics to solve. A lens leverages physics instead of fighting it. You can lower power assumption dramatically while still achieving a clear image simply because you're not wasting light. That one advantage opens up the use cases. If power requirements drop enough, you can build displays that run longer, run cooler, and become practical without massive batteries strapped to your head. However, Expansio was not the first one. Before they stepped into the spotlight, one company had already shown how unforgiving the interface on eye challenge really is. Mojo Vision a US-based pioneer in ocular micro LED AR displays, spent years building the Mojo Lens prototype and invested over $100 million before pivoting away from smart contact lenses to focus on its micro LED display technology instead. Mojo even demonstrated an on-eye prototype with a 14,000 pixel per inch density and integrated 5 gigahertz radio, ARM M0 processor, micro battery, and power management circuit. The prototype worked, but the company shifted direction in early 2023 after funding barriers, layoffs, and the reality that cramming brightness, compute, heat control, and battery into a lens this close to biology was brutal for mass commercialization. Mojo proved it was possible, but it was impossible to scale without a fundamentally different hardware distribution model. Expansio approached the challenge by building over 25 focused prototypes across four years. Each tested a single barrier, display resolution, flexibility, tear fluid biosensing, intraocular pressure sensing, micro battery integration, wireless power transfer, flexible electronics, and real-time data antennas. Instead of cramming everything into the lens, they validated each component separately 
Because one weak link ruins a lens interface that touches biology directly, then shifted compute and power off the lens, letting a companion hub handle processing and wireless power at twice the range of earlier solutions. At the United XR event last week, observers described it as a cyberpunk experience because you're literally holding a lens close to your eye and seeing an image appear in your vision. They showed five prototypes. One of the demos was a micro display lens. In that setup, the lens was mounted on a box used to power it and define the image. When the lens was brought close to the eye, what looked like a small green dot became a full image. People could see a monochrome green display with readable text and clearly visible graphs, sharp enough that it didn't feel like a gimmick. The company's stated mission is full field of view. Their argument is that lenses don't have the classic field of view issue because they follow your eyes everywhere, unlike glasses or headsets whose optics are fixed relative to your head. And if the lens can track where you're looking, it can render the right portion of the interface aligned to your gaze, similar to how headsets update visuals based on head rotation, but in this case, it's gaze direction. Expansio has also showcased a space-focused smart contact lens prototype, designed to provide astronauts with a hands-free data interface. The lens used a holographic display and paired with an image source and power supply inside the helmet. Their argument is that in space, obstructive devices like smart glasses can be hazardous, touchscreens are impractical with gloves, and astronauts often rely heavily on voice commands. They even point out that crew members sometimes operate tablets with their noses because gloves make touch interaction clumsy. Their lens solution delivers visuals directly to the eye, avoiding interference with movement and safety. In their space prototype, the lens incorporates a holographic display and it pairs with an image source and power supply inside the helmet. They've said a similar suit configuration could be adapted for other optical designs, including micro-display lenses. These prototypes are essential steps toward a future where the interference isn't bulky or external. Even critics who love the tech admit that the space angle feels like a moonshot use case and not the short-term priority. But it's still revealing because it shows how the platform could extend into high-risk environments where hands-free and eye-native interfaces are genuinely useful. But power is a huge obstacle here. A lens cannot carry bulky compute or big lithium batteries, so Expansio has shown two directions. One is the micro-battery approach, similar to what Mojo Vision explored, a tiny battery inside the lens that you charge on a dedicated charger, like dropping it into a wireless charging case. Expansio has shown lens on charger concepts to illustrate that. But the more striking approach is wireless power transfer, where a companion device transmits power to the lens. Expansio showcased a wireless power supply attached near the head, described like a small box next to your eyes, able to stream data and stream power. In demonstrations, the eye looked like it was glowing because it was receiving power from the remote charger. People understandably ask the safety question immediately. One explanation given at the booth was blunt. If the power reaches the lens, it means it's not being absorbed by your body. If it doesn't reach the lens, that's when it becomes dangerous because it means power is being lost somewhere else. Expansio's own materials also say their fully wireless powering companion offers twice the range of previous industry solutions, and they describe radiation levels as comparable to common wearables such as headphones. The point they're pushing is, extended range means the companion can be worn comfortably as a portable accessory, making it closer to everyday use rather than a lab setup. They've even described a form factor where the powering companion could be like a compact case you carry in a pocket or a purse, similar to a contact lens case, but acting as the charging and compute hub for the lens. Expansio smart lens approach goes beyond AR overlays. Their prototypes treat the lens as both a sensor and a display interface. It reads body parameters directly from tear fluid, eliminating the need to draw blood. They've mentioned glucose monitoring, hormone-related markers like cortisol and progesterone, and more. 
framing it as continuous monitoring that could change personal health management. For glaucoma management, Expansio has developed an intraocular pressure sensing prototype that uses a faint optical pattern on the lens surface. That pattern shifts as IOP changes. An AI-powered phone app reads those shifts optically and converts them into live pressure insights. During exhibitions, they used a custom eye model built to mimic the physics of a real human eye, letting viewers watch the pressure readings change instantly as conditions were altered. Data transmission is the third pillar. Their flexible electronics prototype embeds a wireless antenna into the lens, sending sensor data to a companion hub that acts as the main compute and relay core. That hub forwards readings to phones or cloud systems in real time. Stable connectivity is what allows the sensing and interface stack to scale beyond prototypes into practical, real-world products. The company's bigger marketing line is, the best device is no device. Less screen time and improved human interaction by restoring eye contact. Even superpowers like night vision and zoom are part of the long-term pitch. The claim is supported by the massive funding. In July 2025, they raised $250 million in Series A funding at a $1.35 billion valuation, rejecting multiple acquisition offers from major tech and medical firms. Their plan is to commercialize medical and industrial lenses first, proving regulation, manufacturing yield, heat safety, and long-term biocompatibility in controlled environments before moving into a consumer product and their partnership with Italy's Intracur, already validated intracorneal implants tested on donor human eyes, projecting visuals straight onto the retina. According to their roadmap, a feature-complete lens prototype is expected by the end of 2026 and will be revealed publicly at a major conference in early 2027. So, is Expansio about to finally crack smart lenses? Or, Will it hit the same roadblocks that left Mojo Vision's vision unrealized? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving tech and AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.